Welcome to the Cougar Mountain Zoo, where we bring the zoo to you. Hello everyone, welcome to another episode of Zoo to You. My name is Alyssa, and today we are in the wallaby exhibit with two of our lovely wallabies, Hemlock and her little Joey. We're gonna be talking a little bit about Joey's and marsupial moms. So swamp wallabies like Hemlock and her little baby are pretty unique, so they are marsupials. And what a marsupial is, is that means that the females have a pouch. So when they're born, they're born after about 30 days and they are born the size of a little jelly bean. And they're pretty much just a head and some tiny little arms. And what they'll do is after they're born, after 30 days, mom will lick a little scent trail up to the pouch and this little baby will use its tiny little arms to crawl into that pouch. And once it's in there, it stays in there for about six months. Then it starts hopping in and out of the pouch. And at nine months, mom completely kicks it out of the pouch because it gets a little bit too heavy for her to carry. And another really neat thing is about female swamp wallabies is she can be pregnant, have a baby in the pouch, and one still coming back for milk all at the same time. And if conditions aren't good, she can hold her pregnancy for up to two years through what's called embryotic diapause. So she can freeze that little embryo in a certain stage of development, and then when she's ready, she can go ahead and um, move the process along. So swamp wallabies are only one of about 250 marsupials, and all marsupial babies are called joeys across all the board. So the only species native to North America is the Virginia opossum and their babies are born the size of little honeybees and they have about 20 versus the wallabies one. Another really neat marsupial is the wombat of Australia. So most pouches they face forward so they're on the front of the tummy just like hemlock's pouch would be. But in wombats since they like to dig their pouch actually faces backwards that way when they're digging around they don't get a face full of dirt the babies don't. Of course my favorite marsupial is the swamp wallaby. We're very excited to have our little Joey as a new addition to the zoo. It's going to be very important for future breeding programs and zoos as there are only a couple zoos that actually breed swamp wallabies. So it's good for that diversity. So we still don't know whether our little Joey is a boy or a girl. Some exciting news everyone. Through some hard work and pouch training with our little baby wallaby, we did find out that it's a girl. And we are very excited to have this new little addition to our wallaby mob. We do need your help to name her though. So off to the side, we have some names to choose from. If you'll put your favorite down in the comments below and stay tuned for the name that we choose. But thank you so much for joining us for this special edition for Zoo to You and we hope to see you soon at the zoo.